said, hey, welcome to the Tallis and Mac podcast. We're doing something a little differently with this one. I think those people are cheering for us. I'm not sure. But uh, we pulled Cody from the crowd because you guys can't see it, but he has an awesome beer holster that holds one can of beer, and he can drink one, so he's ready to go. But in talking to Cody, just kind of bullshitting with him, we found out that he was in the military. And we love and support the people in the military. So we said, Cody, you ever been on a podcast? He said, no, sir. And I said, well, you're going to be on right now. So, Cody, we're happy to have you on here, man. And, and we really do thank you for your service. Um, I introduced you to Caesar. We call him Mr. Nine Times, Nine Times to the NFR. Brandon Brown, my good buddy over there. This is his idea. I just, I just sit over here and gab. So uh, where, where are you from, Cody? I'm uh, originally from Conwood. Conwood. And then... Right now, I'm stationed over in uh, Schofield Barracks, Hawaii. Oh, you're stationed in Hawaii? Yes, I am. Oh, that's cool. So, how long have you been back for? Uh, I came in. I came back around June 19th. That's when I flew back on. But then I leave again on July 5th. Okay. And you guys can't see, but over here behind the cameras is Cody's lovely wife and his brother. So. They're, they're hanging out talking to Craig and Randall, and uh, we're getting the pleasure of talking to Cody. So, Cody, what can you tell us? Did you play some sports when you were in high school? Why did you want to? And, and you said you're in the Army, right? Yes. Why would you pick the Army? Uh, it's mainly my family line. Oh, okay. I'm about sixth generation Army now. That's awesome. awesome. That's so cool. Awesome. That's so cool. Um, what? I don't know a lot about the Army. I know a little more maybe like about the Marines and the Navy, but... The army. What What are you going for? Like, what are you What are you gonna do? Like, are you a? I don't know. A, something like. Do they have specific jobs in the army? What do you What are you going for? Oh uh, yeah. Currently, I'm a uh, 13 Bravo, so I'm a field artillery. Oh. So I shoot the really big guns. Nice. And then right now I'm a howitzer section chief, so I control the whole gun and everybody that's in it. So, so we literally pulled a legit dude. Yeah. Like, when I leave here, I'm going to buy a lottery ticket. Because <laughs> that was a one in a million pull right there. <laughs> I want to say. Yeah, it was. So what, what can you tell us about that? I mean, I about, mean about the guns and stuff. Like, how, how does that start? How long did it take you to become that guy? Well, I'm about to hit my six years in, surprisingly. I know. Oh, okay. I look young and all. Because I just, I just ranked up in February. I got promoted to Staff Sergeant, which I am now the Section Chief. So I'm above them all. And I mentor them, teach them, and all that on every aspect of that howitzer. That's so cool. So, I mean, there's not one thing about that howitzer that you don't know. I don't think there is. <laughs> you don't I know that thing in and out. That's why, I wear, that's why I am where I am. Right. Okay. All right. So uh, that's what we say about Caesar. He knows the rope in and out. That's why he yeah. sits where he is, and, and everybody has their job. Right, Caesar? Yes, absolutely. So when, when you go back, like, what's your duty? You go back and you keep training those guys, or you do you prepare to go to another country somewhere? Do you go somewhere? What do you What do you do? Yeah, we actually uh, just got back from a rotation through the Pacific. I went to the Philippines, met with my counterparts over there. Oh, that's cool. Trained with them. This y'all saw how they did things, and we showed them some things. Awesome, awesome. Do you come to this uh, Prescott Rodeo every year? I mean, I uh, actually, no, because I haven't been able to take leave every year to come to it. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of my worst first time coming awesome. down together. Great. And you said how long have you and your wife been married? We've been together a whole two years uh, as of the 26th. Cool. Congratulations. What, what drew you into the ro coming to rodeos and stuff? What, what uh, I was into the rodeo community when I was younger. Okay, cool. I started off with bull riding at 12 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... I wanted to do bull riding professionally, but I chose the Army instead. Probably smarter. Man, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, Army's hurt me quite a bit. So. Yeah? Yeah, I went to a recruiter when I was in college because I wanted to go. My grandfather was in the military, too. He was in World War II. He's in the Navy. And so I, I went over there, and they told me, you know, I cut my thumb off when I was a kid roping. And they, they said, you know, they, 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 I told them I wanted to be a Navy SEAL. They said, listen, man, they, the Navy SEALs are the elite of the elite. You know what I mean? They got, they said, it'd be hard for you to do it. And so at that time, I, I decided I'm going to go rodeo after that. You know, yeah. like, I really focused on my roping a lot. But it sounds like you went a different route. I, you went the military route. I, I went the uh, rodeo route. Yeah, but don't get me wrong. When I'm sitting up there watching all this, I want to be down there again. It's I want fun, to be yeah. behind the chute yeah. or on top of one of those bulls again. Yeah, dude, I tell you Instead what. Instead of being up there. I rope, but I'd go to the uh, back and pull bull ropes a lot, kind of hang out. I got a, quite a few bull riding buddies. I, 
Yeah. I got a, I, I'm a bull rider at heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you would be watching the NFR, and then it panned down to the buck and shoots, and there's Caesar. We're like, <laughs> this dude awesome. doing? So, all right, man. Well, this rodeo is getting ready to start. We don't want to hold your wife's nachos up any more than we have to. I think that's what those are. Oh, yeah, she's eager to eat those. Are those nachos? Those look good. Okay, cool. Well, hey, Cody, man, thank you. And we really do appreciate thank you, Cody. Of course. Thanks, brother. The reason uh, you did what you, you, you're you doing and, and the military is doing is the reason the Cowboys get to live the lifestyle and travel the, the, the yep. country and do what they do. So yep. we're real grateful for you. Thank you so much. Couldn't have picked a better guest, huh? Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks, Cody. Thank you. All right.